I am genuinely so pumped that this exists. I talked a lot about how I didn't want to build a framework or a way to create a new app because I wanted to recommend picking the right pieces for the problem that you have rather than installing all of these packages that you might not need just because I like them sometimes. Almost every project I've done on stream uses between two and five of my six go-to like constant things between Next.js and Vercel, TypeScript, TRPC, Tailwind, Prisma, NextAuth, uh, all these different things are great technologies that I really love to use when I have problems that they solve. But I don't always have those problems. And I didn't want to make a starter kit that recommended all of these things, two of which you might need, three of which you might not, and you might not know how to rip them out. So they just sit there and do nothing and slid on your site and slid on your builds for bad reasons. I hated that. And I really didn't want to make a template that everybody would rip and install all these things they don't need. As such, when I got this question, I would say, it'd be really nice to have like a Create T3 app, CLI, that rather than giving you a template that just does all of the things Theo likes to do sometimes, it lets you pick the specific things that you want for your project, depending on what you're building. And I am so, so pumped that Nexel started this project and the community has quickly rallied around it. It is insane to watch what y'all have built with Create T3 app. And I want to be very clear. This is what y'all created with T3 app. I did not do anything here. And that's mind bogglingly cool. This is a project that's very close to 400 stars. Very close to 400 stars. It will probably break it just for me showing it on here. I can't see it on the right video, but we're at 391 stars. Cool, whatever. We have a full screen show there. Yeah, 391 stars. This project has 15 contributors, dozens of PRs closed already, regular issues, tons of effort going in on Nexel's part, making sure everything is constantly moving. Are we already at 400? 407, Jesus Christ. Y'all are fast. I appreciate that a ton. 400 stars. Two days ago, this had 100. And Nex wrote a blog post about how excited he was about all of this. And here we are now. This is so cool. This project is awesome. <laughs> I... There are so many little things that were done right here that I really love. But I want to show one of my personal favorites. So as I said, I haven't contributed any code. I've opened one or two issues. I, this I loved. I opened an issue saying prettier because it was one of the few things it didn't come with that I wanted. Nexel replied, we could have a config, but that's probably too opinionated. I personally use the default that comes with VS Code. If someone wants prettier, they can install and configure it themselves. You are right. <laughs> I was entirely fucking wrong. <laughs> My own philosophy was against this. And yeah, the same reason I didn't want to have Jodi or Zustand built in because you have to NPM install those and whatever you do with them is whatever you do with them versus like TRPC or next off that had like unique specific config. He was correct. And it was really cool having like my own philosophy <laughs> block my own issue correctly. I was, I was pumped. This is when I realized this project had taken on a life of its own in the coolest possible way, where the way I wanted to help people initialize a project with good defaults is being managed by a team of people who fully get and appreciate that as well. 428 stars, goddamn. Well, let's use it, because I, I could sit here and just shout about how proud and cool this all is but i want to show you guys sandbox mpx create t3 app create t3 app let's call it a stream demo one of my favorite type or er, touches javascript yeah <laughs> <sighs> Oh, they changed this. This is different from how it was last time. I would ask each one. Now I actually go through and select them. That is awesome. 
You made it more friction to select and also toggle. Ah, oh. oh. so good. And it uses whatever you init with. So NPX means it's going to use NPM. Yarn create, it's going to use yarn. And uh, I forgot what the tail or the PNPM one is. Uh, PNPM DLX create T3 app. And which of those you use is what determines which package manager it uses and sets things up with. CD stream demo. I think it already NPM installed. Uh, NPX Prisma DB push. It uses... SQLite by default, which is great because it's the minimal unopinionated thing. Only problem with that is SQLite now won't work in the Prisma deployment because it's pointing to a local, or not Prisma, the Vercel deployment because that's a local file and that's going to get blown out when the serverless functions rerun. So that will look like it works on dev and it will work on dev, but it will not be the most ideal thing for production for Vercel types. But you can always switch to whatever DB. I do not want to prescribe a database solution to my fans. I want to hand you Prisma and let you connect whatever you want to. Ideally, not Mongo. But that is what it is. From here, npm run dev. Here we are. And hello from TRPC. It's really cool because that has the full top to bottom TRPC uh, like example where example dot hello, I have to go to the server. I actually really like pages and server for the separation. I really like the use of server here instead of backend. Good naming stuff. So we have the shared DB client there, and we have the router with the super JSON included now. Really nice. We merge the example router. This shows you how to structure that all with comments and everything. An example router with a get all that uses Prisma to grab things using the proper like context sharing a Prisma instance, which is, I don't even do that in ping. We probably should. This is following better standards than I have been building my own stuff with this. It makes it so much easier to get started correctly using the tech that I've been talking about here forever. I, yeah, <laughs> y'all kicked ass. It does the exact right amount of things, and it does those things exactly correctly. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm so pumped on this. It's so cool. Uh, the example ENV with like the names for these things that are already pinned in like the Prisma config. We have this there with the commented out database URL for the environment. Oh, so many subtleties that this like guides you through it, it makes the hard parts and the annoying parts either it does them for you or it makes it obvious what you need to do next who do you have to thank for this nexel started it so definitely start with him from there everybody here all the contributors have been incredibly helpful it's an awesome project and I wanted to quickly rant about it because I use this to scaffold all my apps now. <laughs> the only problem with this is it's made my like building an app streams significantly shorter. <laughs> if I was to build a new app right now, the thing that is the first half of the stream, which is me making everything plug in, <laughs> is gone now. <laughs> Straight up trippy seeing a like a th an idea I've shit posted about for so long it get built, maintained, and pushed this well by a bunch of developers, many of whom have never done open source stuff before. It's so cool seeing how many new contributors are working on this as their first project. Like, this is going to get people jobs. That's so cool. Like, this is the exact type of thing I always hoped would come out of this community, but never expected. Certainly not this early. This was the, oh shit, I must be doing something right moment for me that I felt the strongest because like, Sure, y'all like to sit here and watch me while you're sitting at work not doing much. Love that. Thank you all so much. Everybody who's here, I appreciate you immensely. But taking the things I'm talking about to work, that's another really cool step, like pushing the, the quality of the work you're doing every day forward is always huge. But building fundamental new technologies that are bar raisers for starting projects is so cool. This is like the third layer that I didn't expect us to ever get to honestly i thought i would make it more fun for y'all to shit post at work i didn't think we would actually make software better and we did i shouldn't say we i didn't do fucking anything here 
but y'all are making software better. This is quickly going to become one of the best ways, if it, ah, fuck it, this already is one of the best ways to start a new project, period. That's so cool. <laughs> and I'm really excited to see how people use this and the cool things you build with it. Do you know that over half my viewers haven't subscribed yet? That's insane. Y'all just click these videos and listen to me shout and hope that the algorithm is going to show you the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, maybe even the bell next to it so that you know when I'm posting videos. Also, if you didn't know this, almost all of my content is live streamed on Twitch while I'm making it. Everything on the YouTube is cuts, clips, whatever from my Twitch show. So if you're not already watching, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash Theo, where I'm live every Wednesday around 2 or 3 p.m. And I go live on Fridays pretty often as well. Thank you again for watching this video. Really excited. Thank you.